Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. In this video, I am going to be showing you guys meal prep for tangy adobo burrito bowls. Oh, these are so delicious. It is now Wednesday and I've been eating these for the last three days and they are so good. So I'm going to get these started off by cooking my rice. Whenever meal prepping, I always start with things that kind of take the longest. So here I am going to be measuring out two cups of jasmine rice. I'm going to be rinsing this off and then coming right back. So all I did there was run my rice under some water and I just kind of filter that out a few times just to get some of that starchiness out. And then I'm going to be adding three cups of this Swanson's lower sodium chicken broth. I love adding chicken broth to my rice in place of water. It just adds a bit more flavor. And then here I have two limes just cut in half. I will be juicing all four halves into my chicken broth and into my rice. I am making more of like a cilantro lime rice to go on the sides of my burrito bowls. So I'm just going to be adding the limes right now, placing the lid on and letting this cook. I love cooking with my rice cooker. It does all the work for me. And then I will show you guys how much cilantro I am putting when this is done cooking. Now I'm going to be cooking up my veggies. So in a large pan, I am spraying this with a bit of nonstick cooking spray. And then I already chopped my veggies beforehand. So here I am adding in one sliced red bell pepper, one sliced green bell pepper, and then here I also have a half of a large yellow onion. So I'm gonna be cooking this down for about 15 minutes until those veggies are nice and tender. And then I'm also gonna get started on my ground chicken. In another pan, I am going to be spraying this with some nonstick cooking spray, and then I am going to be adding in two packages, so two pounds of Walmart's lean ground chicken this is their 96.4 mine was still a little bit frozen so you guys will see that i do place a cover on this just to help break that chicken up and make it easier to cut up and everything so i'm going to be adding my chicken the lid and then i'll be adding my seasonings to this once i get that chicken a little bit more broken up To my veggies, I am going to be adding about a fourth of a cup of that Swanson's chicken broth. I already added that in. So I am just going to be stirring my veggies around every few minutes until they are good to go. And then my chicken still needs a little bit more time with that lid on. As you can see, it's a little tough because the middle is still frozen, but I am using my handy dandy hamburger chopper thingy. I don't know what this is called, but it is so great for any kind of ground meat. It really helps break it up. So to my chicken, I am going to be kind of watching this so it doesn't overcook, but I am going to be placing the lid back on top of this. So my chicken is about halfway done cooking. It's been on the stove for about 10 minutes. So I am adding my tangy adobo burrito bowl seasoning. This is a seasoning that I found at Walmart and I will definitely be buying it again. It's scanned at zero points for like a quarter teaspoon. I don't ever really count seasonings though. You totally can if you want to. So I used about half of that package. And then I also ended up adding a little bit of pepper, 
garlic powder and onion powder on my own and I'm going to be cooking this until all of that liquid is evaporated and my chicken is all the way cooked through. While my chicken is finishing up on the stove, I am going to be weighing out my pinto beans and my corn, my cowboy caviar. So I am using Trader Joe's organic pinto beans. I am going to be measuring out, weighing out 50 grams of this for one smart point. You can have up to 70 grams of this for only one smart point, but I didn't have enough pinto beans. I am just going to be using this one can. So I'm gonna get these all weighed out and then I'll get started on the corn. For my corn, I am using great values, and for my beans and my corn, I forgot to mention that I did wash and drain these, and then I just placed them back in their can. So here I'm going to be weighing out 31 grams of the corn for zero smart points. So I'll be doing that with all five containers. My fajita veggies are off the stove. I am going to be placing a fifth of my fajita veggies into each meal prep container as well. And I don't measure these, they are just veggies, so I just place an equal amount into each container. Now that my rice is all done cooking, you can see how fluffy it is. That is what I love about my rice cooker. It cooks it perfect every time. I'm going to be adding a total of about three, four-ish tablespoons of freshly chopped cilantro, giving this a nice mix around. And then I am also going to be reserving a little bit of that cilantro, as you can see on my cutting board, for a garnish on the top. So I'm going to be giving this a nice mix and then measuring it out. And I just typed in cooked jasmine rice in my app and that came out to three smart points. So I will be measuring out the rice and placing it on the sides of my bowls. With a plastic measuring cup, I am going to be measuring a half a cup of this and putting it on the sides of each meal prep container. And I use a plastic one, don't use a metal one. If you're doing a rice cooker, you can scratch that. So I am adding a half a cup of cooked jasmine rice for three smart points. My chicken is all the way cooked through and I can't even tell you guys how good this is. And I also forgot to mention, I added four ounces of diced green chilies to that ground chicken when it was on the stove. So here I'm going to be placing my meal prep container on top of my scale, zeroing this out and I'm adding three and a half ounces of Walmart's ground chicken for two smart points on the sides of that rice.
For my salsa, I am using Trader Joe's Cowboy Caviar. I love, love this stuff. So for this, you can have 53 grams for one smart point. So I'm going to be adding this just to the sides of everything. Last but not least, I am adding a wedge of lime to each meal prep container. I absolutely love that little zestiness it gives on top of that chicken and everything. And I will be storing these in the fridge all week. They stay really well. And I have just been reheating these in the microwave for about two minutes and they are all good to go. I love to mix everything together and eat it like that, but you do you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are my seven point tangy adobo chicken burrito bowls. Make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, comment down below of what you guys would like to see next. I am always meal prepping every week. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.